So the back to school season is right around the corner and I know what we all want to do. We want to sob and drink a thing of Clorox. But since we can't do that, we're just going to cry. It's Cena. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be filming a back to school video. I know it's like the end of July, the middle of July, whatever, but some people go back to school at the end of July and some people go back at the beginning of August. And I'm just like, I am praying for you because I don't know how you do that. A back to school life hacks video for y'all. I tried to make mine different because I know a lot of people make these videos. And I'm just trying to make mine different so they can be good, useful. They're all really useful. But I have mine on this pretty paper. If you're wondering, I got this paper from. I got it from Target. Go check it out. It is only a dollar ninety nine. Numero uno tip is, if you have trouble in math, use this website. Website. Use mathway.com. I always use that website when I was in tenth grade and in eleventh grade. I seriously use that website twenty four seven because it is the best way to help you with math. But the only thing is, don't use them because just to get answers because you're still going to have to do work. If you're like stuck on an answer, you can use it, but I do use it just to get answers. Sometimes I'm not going to lie, but don't be like me and do that. Just use it for like help because, you know, you can't do math most of the time unless you're a genius at math. Can I be you? So my next tip is dealing with essays. So say you have to write an essay and you're trying to look up information like we all do and you're using Google.com, but Google always comes up with all these websites that are irrelevant to what you have to look up and there's pages and pages and pages of information. Instead of using Google.com, use scholar.google.com and it will come up with more important information that you'll need because it will come up with websites like .org and .org all the educational stuff will come up with more relevant information. So my third tip is a study tip and it's if you like using note cards. I personally do not like using note cards because I tend to lose them unless they come with the ones on the ring. I tend to use lose note cards. So a tip is use the app called Quizlet.com if you use it on a um Apple PC or um, Mac use the internet if you use it on the internet use Quizlet.com but if you use it on your iPhone Android or any other phone thing they have use Quizlet and then it's like a flashcard app and it is really helpful I use this all the time tip is if your school bought off Google YouTube Twitter Instagram, like my school, my old school that I used to go to, always block that stuff off. And I was like, your girl just wanted to Google something real quick. And I couldn't do it. I think they didn't block off Google, but I can't remember. But you know, though, when school schools block up, block, I literally can't talk. You know when schools block off stuff like that and you just want to check your Twitter for like five seconds. Anyways, if you do that, use the Oprah Winfrey app. Yes, I found this out. I didn't. I personally haven't tried it yet, but I found this on Pinterest, and they and it, you can use the Open Rent Free. Her app already has like Google, Twitter, and all that stuff on it, and you can just click on it from there, and you can access all that stuff right there, and you won't even have to have the school's Wi-Fi or anything. My next tip is while you're studying or you're at class and you're taking a test to chew mint gum, but if you're not allowed to chew gum at school, um, you can either like take Tic Tacs or like mints, anything mints, and you while you're studying at home chew gum or mints, or and when you're at school taking a test, do chew the same thing you did while you're studying, and your brain will remember it because mint is good for your brain. Or if you don't do that, you can like spray a, your favorite scent while you're studying, and then when you go to school, spray that scent. If you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Okay, so my next tip is if you sleep too through. Okay, can I talk? If you're like me and you oversleep and you just snooze your alarm, all you have to do is set your phone to 15 minutes till before you're supposed to wake up and put it way far away from your room and put on a song that motivates yourself to wake up. Like that song that go dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. That because it is very helpful. Your girl would know because I used it a lot. But do that and you will be woken up 15 minutes before you're supposed to go to school. You can fix yourself some breakfast and then you'll be great. You'll be great. I mean, you'll be great. My next tip is if you fall asleep in class, which I personally never fell asleep in class because I was like, 
I never fell asleep in class, which I I wanted to do, but I never did. And if you're falling asleep in class and you just lay it down like this, like this, like this is how most people fall asleep in class, right? And then the teacher comes up to you and is like, wake up. And you can be like, in Jesus' name, I pray, amen. And they won't be, they can't say anything because you're, you were praying. My last tip, and this is probably the most helpful one. It is when you are studying for a test and you're at home and you're just studying, of course, <laughs> and you want to, you don't feel like, and you're reading it, don't do that. You just say it out loud and have your phone on voice record and just record your voice because it will, it is better to hear yourself studying than it is to read it, the information. Because I always do this. My teacher taught me to do this. And then when you're bored or you're about to go to sleep or anything like that, it is best to study before you go to sleep because the information will be in your mind more. That's another tip. A tip and a tip. Um, put your video, you can put your phone on and put your earphones in. If you don't want to use earphones, you can just have it out loud. Hear yourself talking from your studying. And then you will know your information more because it is more, you will more likely know information when you hear yourself study. I hope that made sense. But play it before you go to sleep. Play your voice over and over again, and then you will know your information. So those are all my tips. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you have any more video requests, leave them down below for back to school. And also, I will be having more videos for like summertime. I just made this back to school video because I know a lot of people start back to school next week. Hope y'all enjoy. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this video or if you thought the tips were really helpful, which I really hope y'all did. Comment down below anything else. If you have not seen my last video, it is a ask me questions video that you can just type down below. And I did and I did delete like two of my videos. And that is everything. I don't want to talk anymore. So if you start school very soon, I'm praying for you. I hope you do fine. And we can just all cry together because school is literally prison and hell all put together. So I hope y'all enjoy and I talk to y'all later.